hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin project files are available in the description so you can do check it out later and practice it along with them and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Make Animation as always. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 30 seconds, and background color is white color. And simply hit OK. Then go to choose gradient guide option and hit on title safe action. And now I'm going to create one rectangle, or you can use rounded rectangle tool. I don't want any stroke, so I'll delete this stroke like this and then fill. I will choose this black color for this fill and hit ok and I will create one rectangle like this then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then press V to select your selection tool like this now deselect everything and now select the shape layer and let's adjust it at proper position now let's move this over here select this hit ctrl D to duplicate it and let's move this over here again hit ctrl D let's move this over here hit ctrl d let's move this over here hit ctrl d and let's move this over here like this now select all of them and make sure to press ctrl or thumb to align their respective anchor points to the center now we will go to the ellipse and we will create one ellipse i'll create one ellipse like this now select this ellipse press ctrl or thumb to align that anchor point to the center then press P for position and then V for selection tool and let's move this sorry zoom in a little bit and let's move this ball over here now select this position right click and choose separate dimensions now create one keyframe over on each and every position like X position and Y position and now zoom in a little bit go to around one second now select this and move this X position over here and then move this y position over here like this now go to around two seconds let's zoom in a little bit or let's go over here select this and with the help of arrow keys i'll move this over here now let's go to the two seconds select this one and now you can move this with the help of your selection tool like this and adjust the position go to three seconds let's move this over here like this you can go to four seconds and uh, let's move this over here like this then go to five seconds and now we will move this again over here or you can simply select the this keyframe and hit ctrl c ctrl v like this then i'll go to six seconds and instead of choosing this one i will choose this one so i'll select this keyframe i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v so it will come over here you can move this keyframe a little bit over here and go to around somewhere around over here and select the first keyframe with ctrl c ctrl v like this so if you see we are getting this kind of animation now i'll go over here in middle of these two keyframes and i'll move this y position over here then i'll go over here and i'll move this y position over here then go around over here and I'll move this y position over here at this point again your y position should be over here at this point okay and this y position over here at this point my y position should be here and at this point it should be over here so if i see this i'll get this kind of animations now let's select this y position and i'll hit f9 to ease and ease those keyframe and let's open your graph editor zoom in a little bit now right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph and as you can see if you see y keyframes we have this one at 
over here take this one over here so now i'm going to select this keyframe and by holding shift i'll move this graph over here and this graph over here so if we hit play we will get something like this also i'm going to select this one graph and, and move this handle over here select this graph and move this handle over here like this now select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here select this move this handle over here and this handle over here now select this one let's select this one let's move this handle over here this handle over here this handle over here select this move this handle over here select this handle move this over here and this over here select this move this one over here select this and move this one over here select this move this one over here this one over here this one over here and this one over here select this handle move this over here this one at this side this one at this side and this one at this side select this move this thing at this side this thing at over here this is over here and this is over here yep so all our graphs are ready okay so my ball animation is ready you can select this ball as s for scaling option if you want to increase the scale and select all of them and press p for position and bring them a little bit downwards like this so we will get something like this now i'm going to select this one and i'll press r or let's select all of them and create one keyframe at r so press r for rotation property create one keyframe select this ball hit u so we can see those keyframes now at this point it will start to rotate so i will create one keyframe over here and i'll go to around three seconds and it should start rotate so i'll make this one complete rotation like this and select this one i'll hit f9 and select this one and hit f9 and let's see yep now select those keyframe go to the graph editor i'll select this graph move. select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so let's see yeah now all we need to do we will select this keyframe and we will hit ctrl c and you can hold alt so you can move this to two keyframe like this and you can by holding alt move this to three three keyframes also like this so if you see we get something like this now i'll select those keyframe i'll hit ctrl c i'll select this one i'll hit ctrl v like this then i'll select this one at this point i'll hit ctrl v then i'll select this one at this point i'll hit ctrl v then i'll select this one and now i'll hit ctrl v but during this point instead of plus one i'll type minus one so it will start to rotate on this point now we will select this one now let's go over here let's select this keyframe and i'll move this over here hit page down button one times and now we will hit ctrl v over here but at this point as you can see we are getting again this kind of rotation so let's go to the start and let's make it minus one like this so if you see we are getting this kind of animation and again we will select this one and during this time i'll hit ctrl v again but if you see if you play we are getting this continuous rotation because at this point if you see the reading is one and this point is zero so for now what we need to do we need to create one over here and let's go to somewhere around over here and let's make this minus one like this 
or instead of that what you can do you can make it zero and let's make this minus 180 like this and let's go over here and i'll move this handle over here and let's see so it will look like this or instead of minus what 180 let's make this 180 only so we will get only one rotation like this so if you see we are getting this kind of rotation okay so this is my minus i mean my last keyframe so i'll hit n over here like this so if you are getting confused with this one so let me explain it again so from over here as you can see the initial is zero then at this point this is one reading is once which is one complete rotation so throughout it's only one and when it get at that point so my reading is not zero or minus one but it's just 180 which means it's not complete one rotation it's just a half of the rotation like this because uh, then we will get a proper looping stuff you can make this uh, minus one or zero but uh, if you see over here the animation will look a little bit faster of course it's still gonna be in the loop like if you see over here it's still gonna be in loop but the thing is the rotation is quite faster as compared to other ones so that's why what i what i did I, instead of zero i have typed 180 so if you see let's make this into fact uh, all of this animation is gonna be in the form of loop like this yep so now uh, hit u so we can see all the keyframes like this select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre-composite i'll call it as animation uh, hit ok this you can apply whatever color on them you want i'll apply let's see what we can do i'll apply fill color first let's make this fill let's make this full resolution so you can see properly right click go to the layer styles and i'm going to choose bevel emboss like this go to the bevel emboss let's increase the size increase the softness and over here i'm going to choose white color and opacity i'm going to reduce it like this now select this again right click and choose layer styles and i'm going to choose drop shadow go to the drop shadow increase not opacity but distance maybe let's choose 10 size let's increase it like this and you can decrease the opacity or you can choose a different color for this opacity i mean the shadow somewhere around like this so this is how you will get this kind of white looking animation and from here you can change the color whenever you want like this you can choose blue color also and press ctrl y to create a background layer and i'll make this white background layer and let's move this over here so we will get this continuous animation with the looping point is this so i'll select this and hold alt close bracket like this now right click go to the time and if you go to the time stretch you can reduce it to 50 so as you can see the duration has been reduced so at this point if i hit n and if i start to play i'll get something like this as you can see the at lot of points the ball is not touching this ground i mean those rectangles so to get rid of it what you can do you can simply go over here you can select this ball hit u hit k so it will go over here like this and make sure that ball hits the each and every rectangle like this yeah because we have reduced the size we are unable to see that it's touching the ground uh, let's make it time stretch to not much more but let's say 80 and let's go over here and i'll hit n and now i'll start to play now let's go inside this looping animation press f4 
hit Ctrl A and enable this motion blur and right click time stretch I'm going to choose 100 only because that looks good to me if you want then you can reduce it any time you want let's move this over here so we will get the additional motion blur in our animation so with the help of that it will look good so yep this is our looping animation so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned